Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with the profile picture resize thing. You remember when we were creating the like this um create like the pro like editing the profile and like uploading the picture, it was like too big and it it wasn't fitting here. So there are like basically two ways to do that. Um one is in the in the server side, which means uh, that the picture you're going to resize it, resize it or like process it when you get into your server. And the other one is the client side, which is basically like people like doing their computers. You do it with JavaScript and stuff like that. But um, they're like, uh, if you use like internal if you're using the server side, it means that if a user is sending a 10 megabytes or like five megabytes picture, um, you have to deal with all the bandwidth and and also like all of all imagine like lots of users sending like all of these huge pictures just to their profiles and stuff. Um, you have to deal with the with that load in your server, so it's. It thinks to just use the client side, right? Um, and just send the picture already. Um, I mean, send the picture to the server already, like resizing everything, right? But uh, in this tutorial, we're working just um, just with Django, not JavaScript. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to resize the picture in the server, not with JavaScript. Um, yeah, and let's just jump. So the first thing that we need to do, I mean, the plan is to, let's go to the profile. So the plan here is to basically, um, override the, this profile, um, the profile models. And when we save the picture, take that picture, process it, resize it, whatever. And and then put it back in, and of course Django will not notice that it will be oh that's the picture that's great, it's working, um, but yeah let's do that. Um, so we are going to of course override the save method. So let's go, all right, let's go here models. I think we can yeah let's just choose this one. Okay, so we don't have to type all of that. Let's paste it here, boom, you know how it is. Okay, here's the safe method, but like we're going to override it. Uh, la, 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 la. We don't need anything like that. Okay, we can actually delete this like return. So as we want the picture I mean, we're going to get the picture after we save it. So we basically like leave this, uh, the save here. So now here, right? So like here, the first thing that we do, we check if we have a picture because, um, in this, <laughs> in this like profile, like people can just not put pictures. So yeah, let's first, first check that we have a picture. If self picture, Right. Um, we need to let's go to the top, and here we're going to import all the libraries that we're going to use. For example, pillow, but we're going to use pill, which is basically the same thing. But it, pill, pillow is basically a fork of pill. So, yeah, image, um, from Django dot config to import the settings, you'll see why, and import us. Okay, we got all the libraries. So we go here, we check the picture. If we have a picture, then let's get a new variable. Image.open, what we're going to open, we're going to open the picture, which is located in this, in the path, right? We get the path picture path 
and then we just call this pick the, um, the thumbnail and here we pass the size of the picture Fun, but just let's just go here and like create a const called size and we'll name it like 350 by 350 like 300 I guess I don't know yeah um up oh, okay you have the picture here we have the size and now we pass the size here and then we call image lensos lensos that's required and this now let's save the picture where where we took it right self that picture that path and yeah that should work okay so if you leave i mean right now this is working but if you leave it like that it will for example let's say that you have five um a persons just upload the pictures but they want to change it later they're going to send another picture to your server right that's not quite um that's not quite good because you have a bunch of pictures that the user is not using so what we want to do we want to oh this is a new picture okay goodbye old one so yeah let's go here to this and then we're going to just um modify this one um first let's create a new variable called profile pick name will be equal let's actually let's just move this one to the top and we don't need this one here we're going to name the picture the picture will be always called profile.gp right and we don't need this one right um yeah so now um we're going to get the full path of the picture it's gonna be variable full path will be us that path that join and then we call it settings that media root and then here we pass the profile big name good okay um so now we're going to check okay we send a picture and if oh it's really six let's just remove it that's what we're going to do uh but that's it says full path then us remove full path great yeah just like that and of course we're just going to pass what well, the profile big name there is right let's save that and that should work i guess so let's just create a new profile right let's just log out and then let's go here let's download a picture um, scarlett johansson right let's get the image um, let's get the picture from her Let's get this one. This one has the perfect size. Very big. <laughs> Very big. Um, okay, let's save this picture. Let's save it. Oh, no, we cannot save this picture. Oh, crap. Yeah, we need to save. We need to choose another picture. Let's see this one. Not because it's in there. Yeah, this should this should work. I don't know. Yeah, let's save this one. Why all of 
these pictures are like this. This one, this one is huge. Okay. Save. Very well, save. I think I have the pictures there. Um, I actually have the picture, let me see. This one, oh, I actually have the two pictures, yes. Okay, let's start with this one. Just don't know the picture, and it's just, we're just like trying. Okay, let's create a new account. Okay, it's Carlet Johansson. Scarlet.email.com. New password, and boom, here we go. Um, Scarlet Johansson. Okay, it's currently you have the run and login. And here we go, straight to our edit profile. Let's try. First round. Um, what's the name of the picture? Let's see, this one, five things, whatever. Yes, it's juice. First name, Scarlett Johansson. I just type it, I don't know. Location, you say URL, uh, um, Scarlett Johansson.com. Bio, um, actress, whatever. I don't know. Um, update and let's go to our first. First, let's check in the folder if it actually if it actually like work the thing. Um, media. So here's our new user with the ID seven, and here is the profile picture. You see, it's working. And look at the dimensions. It's it's awesome. It's working great. Look at the size, 300 by 300, okay? Um, let's close and let's go to the profile. And here we go, here we go. Scarlett Johansson, beautiful picture. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, so guys, um, I think this is it for now, this whole tutorial thing, um, of course, we need to improve lots of stuff. For example, like the paginator and stuff and like load more posts, load more direct messages, load more notifications, load more posts here, load more safe posts, um, etc, etc, etc. And also like the explore, you can work with that too. And yeah, I'll leave that up to you. And but if you want me to just basically work more in all of these and like um, post um, like make more videos about this Instagram with no JavaScript Instagram hashtag no JavaScript project <laughs> yeah just let me let me know in the comments and I hope you like it um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorials.